all right folks welcome back to another episode of just fishing and today's topic with jojo baker guide here on grenada lake we're going to talk about the lakes in mississippi yep there's some good lakes in mississippi there's uh you know you always got grenada that's one of the number one lakes in the country to fish and um Arkham butler's really good sardis and Enid are both great lakes too um a lot of people miss out on the little oxbow lakes too in mississippi and off the mississippi river and they they hold some great fish so there i mean so name some of those lakes would that be a, a lake washington a yep, yep. eagle lake like washington little stuff little lakes like that they, they they hold some great fish they got three pounders in there you know you're likely to catch one it wouldn't surprise me a bit to catch fish over three pounds in those lakes. would you target a smaller lake like like those rather than something so grand like Grenada and Arcabella? Uh, I guess it really depends on the side, the time of year. You know, uh, winter time, those are great lakes to fish. Um, these are really good lakes too. Um, it just kind of depends on what you want to do. You want to be crowded around a bunch of people. You know, there's a bunch of people who fish Grenada Lake. Uh, it is a big lake, so you can get away from people, but it's just more, you know, and more territory that you'd have to cover, you know, to find, to find fish. But, so I have been to, to Lake Washington, and uh, I liked how I felt like it was pretty manageable. Yeah. I mean, it was something you could, I think a lake like that, you can do on your own, right. perhaps, and if you choose to, and whereas Grenada is pretty daunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go to those lakes there and, and, and uh, easily fish it by yourself without a guide. Grenada, you, if you're not from around here and you don't really know the lake, you almost have to have one, you know? And so, I would I would have to have one if I was first coming here, you know, um, because it, it it gets me sometimes. It it um it'll have me puzzled a lot myself, and I fish here every day. Well, I so. think it's a safety. I mean, a lot of people just feel safer with a guide right yep. off the bat. That's right. And uh, whereas you know Lake Washington, I don't know how many acres. I'm just using them them as an example. I'm sure right. there's others, but you know they seem manageable. They seem safer. Uh, you know, just to give you guys a reference, though, Lake Washington's roughly what is it about an hour south of here? Yeah, roughly. Yep. Yep. Uh, near a town called Greenville, and they've got a great reputation. They've got a lot of good fish there. All, yeah. all these these Mississippi lakes do. Yeah, Mississippi man, they, they, they have the, some of the best fisheries there are, and um, and not even try to have. I mean, it's just a shad abundance. You know, we, these these lakes got tons of shad. It's a really good good shad, big shad, and. Uh, um, we're live scoping right now and our screens are just constantly covered in shad um, you gotta peek through the shad to catch a crappie but uh, that's a good thing they, you know, they just don't they, uh, <laughs> he went right over the top <laughs> yeah that was perfect he couldn't get no better than that <laughs> um, but they, yeah. uh, so you think so they're big because of the of the shad population because of the size of it yeah I think that's one good reason uh, I, I don't know, you know, the vegetation on the on the bushes and stuff, and how the water gets in the mud brush and stuff around here, the, uh, all the fresh vegetation that comes up every spring, uh, the, the shad just thrive on it. So this, we have so many shad, and a crappie, all you really got to do is hold the mouth open right. you know, to eat. So uh, it's all pretty big. Uh, Does the color of the water have anything to do with it, or is that from the vegetation? Uh, it or could, that... um, you know, as far as... Uh, predator fish maybe you know yeah who knows uh, maybe predator fish can't see them as good in, in muddy waters you know um, i know the ospreys and, and the comorants we were talking earlier about those they, they take them they, they hit them pretty hard uh, in the crappie on the you know, smaller crappie especially the uh so most people would say that there's the, there's the big three and that's grenada sardis and Eden. Correct. Yeah. So when you come, so the biggest lake is Grenada between those three. Yes. And then shoreline, then Sardis. Then Sardis. Sardis would be the next in line. Um, and, and my big three, my big, th I, say, I say there's big four. Okay. You know, that's what I say. There's big four. Arkham Butler is my second favorite lake. Okay. That lake has got just as big, if not bigger, crappie than Grenada, and a smaller. Lake. Um, really? Yes. It's, it's a little harder to fish. The timing's a little different than Grenada. You know, it's uh, about a couple hours north of Grenada. So uh, it's a little different as far as the timing goes on the spawn and you know when to fish and how to fish. We may catch them. We can go catch them right now. Live open up there, but um, the same way we're fishing here. But you know, certain times of the year you gotta kind of, you know, if you're on time at Grenada, you're gonna be too early or too late at Mark Butler. 
Yeah. So most people wouldn't, you know, they don't think about Arkabella. No, nope, no, nope. that's never even in the, in the conversation. And I don't know if it's because they've had bad, bad, uh, bad trips there. You know, because I have. We may go catch them today and catch thirty. And really? Have a two and a half pound average, and tomorrow we'll go back to the same spot. And I'm gonna get a fight. I mean, that's just Mark Butler's kind of tricky like that. But once you figure them out, man, there's some really, really good fish in there. Do you ever get down to Eagle much? Um, not really. Um, I try to, you know, a couple times a year. I try to go down there just to stay sharp on it. Yeah. But um, my, you know, this is my primary lake around here. The big, the big fours I call them. Made in the hardest. I, if I have these lakes here, I shouldn't really have to leave, you know. Right. Uh, but not that those aren't really, really good fisheries and lakes. I mean, they got great fish, even bass fishing. You know, they got real good bass. Yeah. And like I was saying, a lot of these oxbow, those small, real small lakes, uh, tend to cut off a really good lake. Which I never heard that. One. Yeah, it's right south of Memphis. Um, it's a uh, really good. What's it really called again? Tunica Cutoff. And it's a uh, horseshoe lake. They, all them lakes have really good fish. Um, I got buddies that fish them religiously. You know, they won't even put a boat in and grenade them. They just go there. But you really? catch a lot of numbers, and you you might catch one. If you fish there for a whole month, you might catch a big one. You know, even if here, you're going to fish there a whole month, you'll catch four or five. You know what I mean? That's the right. difference. But you're going to catch a bunch of fish, and the bite's always really good in those, in those little small lakes. Interesting. So that's a new lake. I haven't heard of that one. Yep. Really and I think Arkabutla is definitely a, a, a hidden gem. People don't think about it too yep. often. Yeah, there are, is there a lot of guide services on that lake? Um, I guide there. Um, there's a couple of other, you know, if, if Grenada's slow or something like that, or if Enid's slow, they'll go to Arkabutla, you know, something like that. Um, but it's, um, there's, I don't think there's any guides that there's the primary lake. I think they all kind of just go, go there whenever the bite's there. Yeah, when the bite's there. Because there is really good fish. I mean, I took a couple guys not too long ago and they, we had a blast in our, we had like five fish that was over two five. Oh wow. So, yeah, we, we did really good. Well, I think people like, you know, when they come to these lakes, they're, they're, they're always concerned a little bit about accommodations, about nearby towns, that type of thing. And I, one of the things I always tell people about Grenada is I, I love the town. I think that the town's got a lot of good eateries. It's got, you know, it's got your Walmart. It's got everything you could possibly want. A lot of hotels. You never have a problem finding a place to stay. I mean, just, and, yeah, uh, great hospitality to the yes. people. Good people. Really. Most of them are really, really good people. So I don't know what, so what's the situation with like Sardis and Enid? What's their, not that they're, I mean, are they bigger towns? Do they have down, towns around those? Uh, yeah, Batesville is right there by Sardis. I mean, you can say a, a Batesville or Oxford even. Uh, you can put in a program that comes off uh, six there, a highway. Um, it's a little road, I forget the name of it, but it goes right. I travel it all the time and can't tell you the name of it, but um, those are good spots. Water Valley, uh, right there on Enid Lake. They got a bunch of cabins and stuff for rent around the lake there. Um, you know, there's always places to stay. You just kind of got to dig for them. Maybe even call a guide and ask him, you know, where to stay. I got a guide, uh, Four Seasons Lodge over in uh, Enid Lake. That's where I put my people up uh, whenever I go. And uh, they want to fish Enid Lake. That's where they'll stay. And they got really nice cabins over there. That's a, that's a common fish. Yeah, he, he did it. He's, he's coming back. He's just sitting there now. So we're out here on Grenada just uh, casting at them. And uh, I won't say I haven't done it before, but I'll tell you, it's uh, definitely the, the way to do it right now. It's a, uh, there you go. He's right on, watch this folks. He's about to get stuck right here. There he comes, boom. He sets the hook. Right. No bad fish. Not a bad fish right here. Be a keeper. Oh, yeah. If we were keeping. Yep. Ooh. There he goes. Sorry That's a perfect. That, that is a uh, <laughs> professional release right That's there. Right. Maybe we caught a little bit of it, of it, but good fish. They a little lively in this hot water. So, what are the requirements to fish in Mississippi? As far as license, out of state license? Yep. Uh, just got to, uh, they have a light, I forget how much it is, it's not much, it's, I think it's less than 20 bucks actually for a weekend. Uh, hunt license, I mean fishing license, um, to fish any lake on in Mississippi. And um, I don't think you have to have any kind of other 
special stuff. I haven't heard of it anyway. Any kind of special license to fish. Um, you just gotta get your regular out of state license. The, uh, so yeah, I had my uh, license for uh, the tournaments. Yeah, still back. And uh, I believe it was a, a year. I, I want to say a year out of resident was like something around sixty-three dollars. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's actually really reasonable uh, for out of state. Do they all go through the process of drawdown? So Grenada has a drawdown in the fall winter time, yep. right? Yep. So. Big changes there. How about Stardust and Enid? Do uh, they, they do. They draw them down to. Um, they just have boat ramps right next to the dams. That way you can put your boat on the sand for slow water. Gotcha. So that's why I go there and fish uh, those lakes whenever the water is drawn down too far to put a boat in. Gotcha. I thought it was a. It was a. It just didn't look like Grenada when I was here during the drawdown. I thought it was very interesting. Yeah. So in terms of like Grenada. If you were to kind of break it down in terms of, uh, I, there's obviously there's two arms. What do you call this? What's the north northern arm? What do you guess it's the north side of the lake. The north side of the lake. Yep. Uh, Gulf Crossing. Uh, this, the bridge has been out for a while, but they're just now getting it fixed. Uh, it should be. I, I feel like it'll be fixed next year. Um, then you got the Graceport side, which is the south side. The major side. Um, you know, the marina side up here. That's where we're at right now. Uh, it's just close to the dam. If you were, if somebody was coming to this lake for the first time, would you say go to the marina? That's the easiest one. I would put in there. Yes, I would. I would put in at the marina, uh, and that you know, it's just always enough water. You know, it's a more uh, reliable boat ramp, I guess you'd say, than an anchor. Yeah. You know, it's got the rubber pads when the water's not too hot. But uh, that's that. That's my favorite boat ramp to put in at. You know, with a new boat and stuff. Just easier. We got the docks and stuff. So. Yeah, restaurant facilities. It looks yep. like yep. it's uh, a lot of parking. So the marina boat ramp is definitely yeah, that's the go-to. Yeah, uh, Graceport's not bad. They just don't have any kind of facilities or anything. So Graceport, you have about a north and a south each side of the bridge. Yep. Yep. Check out Grenada. Check out all the Mississippi lakes. They're fantastic. I the first one I ever went to was Lake Washington, and I, I still have a big heart for that lake because it was my first experience of pulling a pig out of the water. Um, but Grenada obviously is is uh, the home of the three pound crunk. So yep, definitely, yep. Yeah, any given cast, you can catch a, a three pounder. It's not it's not uncommon to catch, catch a three pounder any time of the year, really. Uh, or you can really get close in the summertime, anyways. Yeah, I'll tell you, they're 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 just all great lakes. I'm going to try to get to a lot of them because uh, I know that just learning about the tunica pass is that what it's called yeah tunica break or tunica, tunica cut off cut off that that sounds something that intrigues me really so, good lake. thanks for watching guys please subscribe another podcast in the books thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies